Hi everyone, welcome to this Make a Medic tutorial. Today's topic is the difference between acute and chronic leukemia. It can be quite confusing what the exact differences are between an acute leukemia and a chronic leukemia, but it actually becomes fairly simple if you understand a little bit about blood cell development. So there are two main processes that occur to blood cells. So in this case, white blood cells. One of them is differentiation, so within the bone marrow you'll start off with the stem cells and they'll eventually differentiate and undergo multiple morphological and functional changes until you eventually end up with the fully functional mature white blood cell. You also get proliferation, so especially for example in response to an infection you'll get an expansion in the population of white blood cells. So this is really where the difference between acute and chronic leukemias lie. So in acute leukemia, you get abnormal differentiation and also excessive proliferation. Whereas in chronic leukemias, you get normal differentiation and you get the production of mature white cells. However, the proliferation of those white cells is excessive. So how that manifests in real life is that Acute leukemias tend to be, as the name suggests, a relatively acute onset, and you get an excess number of blast cells. So these are the precursors that should only be found in the bone marrow, but given the abnormal differentiation and the excess of proliferation, you also get a lot of blast cells found within the peripheral blood. So given that it's sudden onset, it really impacts the bone marrow, patients are likely to be symptomatic. So this typically ends up being the consequences of bone marrow failure. So if your bone marrow is getting infiltrated and filled up with these abnormal white cell blasts, it means that there's less space for red blood cells, platelets and other white blood cells to be produced. With chronic leukemia on the other hand, you get mature cells in the peripheral circulation, but you get a huge number of them as well. And patients may actually be asymptomatic with chronic leukemias for quite some time. However, it can also, first of all, undergo a blast transformation, which is essentially when a chronic leukemia becomes acute, but it can also infiltrate the bone marrow and lead to consequences of bone marrow failure as well. So namely, that would be anemia, increased risk of infections due to a lack of functional white blood cells, and thrombocytopenia, so increased risk of bruising and bleeding.